Stepan Hovnanin of Chevy Websites builds and executes marketing strategies that connect businesses to their customers. Tune in as he fills us in on three steps on how you can make those connections using your content, website, and social channels. And we talk about opposable thumbs. So let's dive in. First thing, how can businesses today stay competitive with all the changes that are happening in search and social? So the big thing to realize for a company is that the customers today are driving this change. They, they don't want to be marketed to anymore. They don't want uh, this. You know, they want to understand who's behind the counter. And so the easiest way for a business to do that is to start treating its entire web presence as an employee, not a marketing expense. Right. And by the way, it's not just the websites anymore. It's everything. All of your communications across search, social and uh, in, in inboxes, email marketing, pay per click, all of that. Right. And if you treat it as an employee, you're going to be giving your web presence goals. You're going to be giving them uh, meaningful tasks because let's face it, you don't give meaningless tasks to an employee. It's a waste of money. And you're going to be monitoring the performance of that uh, over the course of time to make sure that it's helping your business do all of these things that you tell it to do. It's that simple. Okay, so what questions can a business ask itself to see if their web is being treated as an employee that has opposable thumbs? Yeah, the opposable thumbs are important, guys. I mean, your web presence isn't artificial intelligence. It can't do all these things by itself. So you need somebody or a trusted provider or both, you know, behind it. So here are three questions that you can ask yourself. You just kind of evaluate to a self-assessment, if you will. First of all, does everything that you're doing on the web have a purpose? And that purpose can be anything. It can be it can be entry level, those first couple of touch points. It could be customer retention and education. It could be publicity. There's a whole wide variety of, of roles that your web presence and the content you're putting out there online could have. But if you don't define it, you're kind of flying blind. So look, take a look at everything that you're doing and everywhere you exist and make sure that you can define that purpose. The second question is, is that content and is that experience being optimized for the right people? So again, remember, you might have something entry level or you know that initial couple of touch points um, where you want to make sure that you're optimizing that not only to be to be able to connect directly with that type of person but also to be found by that type of person right you don't want to put things out there that are you know are aimed at uh, at being found by you know high end or higher level uh, clientele where you're trying to look for you know, small entry level people. Okay. So optimization, and that's all of your search engine optimization, customer experience, you know, the right size images for your social media posts, all that crap. So optimize everything for the experience and for the medium. Okay. The, and the last part, point number three is, do you have a consistent call to action? Or, and are you, are you putting that out there? Do all roads lead where you want people to go? That's like the most important thing you can do because otherwise you're putting content out there that you know, doesn't have a goal and, and doesn't have the purpose and isn't optimized. So this one builds off, this question builds off of the other two. And one of the things you can do right now very easily is to look and see where that's falling short and go just make updates, make updates to your social media, make updates to your blog post, and start to have that, what do I do next part incorporated in on a very consistent basis. All right, so speaking of which, let's hear your call to action. So the call to action is to go check out this free guide that I created called the free guide to giving your web presence opposable thumbs. And the whole point behind it is to go through a bunch of the different areas of your web presence, again, website, conversion optimization, all those different things. And I have a couple of tips and resources and tricks that and techniques that I use and uh, some of my favorite things. So it's a way for you to go do a little self-assessment and see where you might find some gaps. And you know, from there, happy to interact with you however and give you as much of the expertise and experience that we have um, to help your business move forward and, and start treating your web presence like an employee. All right, everyone, you heard it here, click away. Thank you so much, that's great information. Thanks, Mia.